Hey there, I'd like to give you a short little tour of this uh, Suzu Fargo. Uh, I'll show you the external components and I'll show you the camper components and then um, I can turn the engine on and show you the engine and everything. So, as you can see, here's the side door. This right here is the uh, water heater and right below it is the battery terminal or compartment. I just put two brand new batteries in on there. Um, and you'll notice some of this uh, fraying is from having to keep this thing closed while on the road. It has, um, it needs some new locks. Here's the diesel tank access. And you'll notice this trim. Yeah, the trim fell off. Hopefully it shouldn't be a huge problem to find something that might be suitable. And um, so right here, this is the, I might have the wrong key for it right now. Oh yeah, one, one moment. There's about four keys for this vehicle because each individual component has its own device related to it or key. Uh, here we go. This is the cassette toilet. Thetford um, works just dandy and back here this is where the give you a better view so that bottom spot right there that's where the fridge currently resides and as you can see there's a vent right up here that's for when you're cooking and here's the side door and this is the propane heater and right here, this compartment holds two one gallon, I believe, um, propane tanks that you can um, heat the car as well as use the stove. And it also works as a water heater. All right, let's check it out in the back. So, we've got a couple cupboards right here. One, two, three. And this one's a larger one right here. Uh, and here's your electrical plant panel. This controls all the lights the heating and the um, water pump uh, in the back here. And it has a little gauge for the batteries and as you can see, brand new batteries. So they're gonna come in at just over good, which is great. Here's the water heater. Let's step on in and I'll show you this. All right, here is the stove. Uh, it's, it's nice and hot propane stove. There's a sink right here. As you can see, there's some damage over here. Probably be patched up pretty easily. Uh, there's a blind right there, which is super convenient. And here's the other side of the vent, which also has a light. And that's all fully functioning. And this right here is the brand new Dometic Isotherm fridge I had installed. That thing supposedly lasts for like nine days on a single battery charge, which is amazing. And now, go and look at here. Here's the bathroom. So, here's the toilet. And we did have an issue with the original pump, so I installed a battery-powered pump, which will make things a lot easier. Here's the shower. As you can see, it's a little bit of a tight space, but everything's fully working. It's a great little shower, and you can get a new head installed if you'd like. Uh, this is also where you fill the water tank for the shower and the uh, sink. Okay, now we're into the main cabin. So here is the sofa and the side seating right here and here. Uh, and the so side seating, it, by side seating, I actually mean dining area. And I'll show you that. And let's see, I'm gonna put the phone down for a moment. And voila. So now you have a little bit of a dining area and all these suitable backrests and all that. So one thing um, I'd like to show in person instead, if possible, uh, just because it's a little cumbersome, is how to set up these, this whole area folds out into the bed. So this panel goes right here, and this panel goes right here, and then this table and these cushions all create another panel. So this whole thing becomes about a six-foot bed, which is awesome. And uh, one last thing, here's a little cutting board. And that is held up by this. It's kind of a fun little function. And let's say you need some more cutting space. There you go. That's also the location of the 
new digital thermostat I had installed. Um, other feature that's pretty cool, especially if you have kids, uh, these, so these pop down and you get these panels. See those little hooks there? These panels drop in and make a full bunk bed up there. Uh, and there's some extra storage space I'll show you up in here. It's not a ton, but you know, you can store a couple things up there. And I, when I traveled in it, I used this whole area as a, as a bunk space or a, a storage space. Okay, so let's get into the driver's cabin. So admittedly less interesting, but vital. One thing that's cool about this car compared to other Japanese vehicles is that it actually has more space. Like that's my high ace over there. And that thing, you know, for a long drives, it's actually not that comfortable, but this thing, uh, no problem. And I'm six foot three, so it's pretty great. Um, so here's the cabin space, got some original Fargo mats. The seats are in really good condition in my opinion. And um, I'll show you the engine. Here we go. Oh, actually one last thing I wanted to show you. This thing right here. This thing hooks right into here. Uh, <laughs> all right, right into there. And then you have a full awning. So this awning pops out, it's really cool. Um, and it's in great shape. So that's something else amazing about it. And um, I'm gonna set the phone down again so that I can pull the uh, engine out and show that to you. Interesting compartment in my opinion, but I like having the access in here. Okay, so the real superstar of this whole thing is that this, this car only has 20,000 miles on it, or just over 20,000 miles. It's rock solid. This engine's great. We were doing six to eight hour days on our, on our road trip with no problem whatsoever. So that's pretty awesome. I'm gonna go turn it on for you and show you how that sounds. And you can see it run because that's really where the magic in this thing is. Um, let's do it. Okay, and here's the cabin area. Here's those miles I was talking about. That's just about 20,500. 20, um, and anything else? yield and such. There's even a little flare down here, which is standard for all Japanese vehicles. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, oh, and here's the climate control. AC is not working. Um, the compressor needs to be rebuilt. Um, but the air it blows good air, blows hot air, so it should get you by for a while. Um, but yeah, that's something to consider. All right. And as a diesel, you'll see the glow plug is the bottom left there. And once that turns off, all right, I'm gonna shut this thing so I can show you a couple more things while the engine's on. Okay. So, last interesting thing I'd like to show you, the backup camera. It is an original cathode ray backup camera, although I did have it uh, switched out. I switched the camera out, but the TV itself is actually a cathode ray, as you can see. 